Okay, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to continue our lesson on chapter 2, factorize stations and algebraic fractions, okay? Since teachers sit in a quarantine leave, so I have to make this video to continue our lesson, okay? Um, uh, we have to perform multiplication and divisions of algebraic expressions involving expansion and factorizations. Huh? This is our learning standard. Actually, this part we recovered last week, but we have to do a little bit of uh, revisions on this partner okay so remember when we need to multiply or dividing uh, two algebraic fractions we when we do multiplications multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator okay and after that we simplify the algebraic fractions by dividing the both numerator and denominator with common factor okay so flashback uh, how we, how are we going to simplify the following algebraic expressions okay so have a look on this is the multiplications right okay so 4k over 3m square multiply m over 8k okay so how are you going to multiply okay so to make it easier okay so i make it into this okay i separate the k and k i separate this one okay hold on uh. okay i separate it then after that 3m square and make it into 3m m m times m m square right okay so now we're going to simplify so m and m we can simplify because m divided by m is equal to 1 right okay then k and k remember when we simplify one top one bottom huh? okay cannot be same level different level okay so then common factor this one common divided 4 divided 4 1 8 divided 4 is 2 okay so any more that we can simplify? No more, right? So what's our final answer? So our final answer is 1 over 6m. So remember, we are multiplying 3 and 2. Okay, 3 times 2 is 6, then 6m. Okay, so next. Okay, so another questions. Okay, so have a look on these questions. How are we going to simplify? So remember this part. Okay, uh, a squared minus 1. This is the form of this front of square method, right? Where you can we can factorize it. Okay. Uh, so try to transform into this pattern. A plus one, a minus one. Okay. Then this one, why I make it b square? Okay, I leave it, make it separately so that easy for you to do the simply uh, when you want to simplify, make more easier for you to see. Uh, okay. So now how are you going to simplify? Okay, this one and this one same, right? Okay, so we can cut it off, okay, or divide a plus 1, 1 plus a is the same thing. Huh? And this one, we have b squared, so we can cut one of the b, b divided by b, 1, okay. So any more that we can simplify? No more, right? Ah, so no more than the answer is b times a minus 1 over 2a. So this is our last answer, okay. So next, how about this one? Ah. So this one also h plus k square, right? So we can open the bracket, make it h plus k, h plus k, multiply two times, okay? Then 2k minus h. So for this one, we should have common factor. So we can factorize. Why we need to factorize in order to help us to do the simplified. Like later, we want to simplify, okay? So this one also h square minus k square. So we can make it in h plus k, h minus k, okay? So after that, we can cut this one, one up, one bottom right. So which one still more some more can simplify or not? Yes, 2k, 2k. Okay, 2k minus h. So any more that we can simplify? Yes, no more. So we have no more. So then we just multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. Okay, so last answer is 3 multiply h plus k over h minus k done it's simple right okay come one more okay now we go to divide okay so divide remember when you do the divisions make sure you change into multiplications how are you going to change the multiplications don't forget your numerator become denominator denominator become numerator Reci twist or reciprocal okay so uh, make it in this way so the divide it turn into multiply and this one go up this one go down so bring here okay can see or not 
So always remember uh, when you see the question which is divide, you change into multiply. Okay, so why I make it into P times P? So easier for you all to do the simplify. Lah. Okay, so now after that, we can start to do simplify. So this one, this one we can cut on top and bottom. Ah, remember? Okay, so some more? Yes, here, Q and Q. Any more? No more. No, we still have common factor, which is 4 and 8, right? So this one and this one. So any more that we can simplify? Yes, no more. Okay, so now what we left on top, which is our numerator. So P only right. So bottom, 3 times 2. So 6. So last answer, P over 6. Okay, come, let's see another one. Questions which is divide. Okay, this is the one. Okay, it's the same thing. So we make it in from divide, we change into multiply. So reciprocal. Okay, why suddenly? Uh, this is still the same thing, right? Okay, but the only thing is, I do the factorizations because we have common factor three and six, right? I do the factorizations. Okay, and then after that, only I change from the divide into multiply. Next step. Okay. Uh, so this one will go up and this one will come down. Okay, got it. Okay, now. So we can do the simply. We can do. Uh, we can simplify. Okay, simplify the it's algebraic fractions. So this one we can cut it off, right? So any more that we can simplify? Yes, a and a, right? Any more? Yes, no more. Okay, so five times three, which is fifteen, and two b. That's it. Okay. So next, okay, one more questions before I give uh discuss your questions or exercise that I given. Your, okay, so this is another one. So remember when you see square and square and you see this is minus here, definitely you can use the type of factorization which, which, is, the, which is the different of square method. Okay, so this is the one. A plus B, A minus B. Okay, so this one we have common factor here, 5. So we take out the 5. So 5 times 2A minus B. Okay, so divide this one. Square right, so I split it into two a minus b, a minus b. Here also another two common factor, which is four. So I take out the four. Okay, I do the factorization in order for me to easier for me to do the next step, which is simplify. Okay, so divide we change into multiply. So when change to multiply, as usual, this one go up, this one come down. Okay, uh, common error mistake the students always make, ah, uh, they were. In front, this one also they go and turn. No, uh, okay, only the back. Okay, only this one. When you change from divide into multiply, only the fractions which is behind us go and do the reciprocal. Okay, so turn already, so we can do simplify. Okay, so a minus b. So we have a minus b, a minus b we can cut. So after that, 2a minus b, 2a minus b. Any more that we can simplify? No more, right? Okay, so no more. So we just multiply. Okay, so multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator can with the denom uh, denominator. Okay, actually you can still proceed. Okay, which is you do expansions, which is 4a plus 4b over, okay, 5a minus 5b. This is also correct. Okay, so now, Next, ah, this is the first questions that I give you all in the exercise, right? So, can you all manage to get the answer? Okay, so let teacher show you all the correct answer, okay? So, this one, definitely, you can see, first thing, we see the fractions, whether uh, there is any common factor or not. For the first one, we don't have right. For the second one, yes, we have this common factor of this. Right? Uh, so we can do the factorizations for the 2k minus 8. Okay? So I do the factorization first. So I can get 2k, uh, 2 in bracket k minus 4. Okay, after do the factorization, uh, I see the same uh, terms, right? Okay, one up, one bottom. So I can simplify. So k minus 4, k minus 4. Any more that we can simplify? No more, right? So no more, we just multiply the numerator with the numerator, denominator with the denominator. So our last answer is 2k over 3. How many of you got it right? 
Okay, so check and mark your books, okay? Okay, next questions. Okay, this one. So 3 over x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 over 6. Okay, now, so the first algebraic uh, fractions, any uh, any things that we can uh, do the factoriz factorization, any common factor, you have right. So we just leave it there. So the second one, okay, the second algebraic fractions, do we have? The, uh, we can can we do factorization first before we do the multiplication yes right so you see still same thing this is the difference of square so we can just uh, factorize x plus 1 x minus 1 right so after that uh, we can do, do simplify this one x plus 1 x plus 1 okay then any more that we can simplify any more common factor yes 3 and 6. This one, 6 divided by 3, which is 2. Okay, so no more, right? So, last answer, x minus 1 over 2. How many of you got it right? Okay, mark your exercise bowl. Okay, if you cannot understand, so later you can revise the video, okay? Okay, so next one, oops, forgot to do the animations it's okay it's all right this is the last answer 3k over 2 okay let's see how are we going to do the these questions are or solve these questions 9k minus 3 so common factor is here 9 and 3 right so we can do the factorizations for the first algebraic fractions this is the one okay so another one the second one don't have any uh, common factor cannot do any factorization i just rewrite it back so now, after I do the factorization, I can see this one, I can simplify, right? So uh, this one, 2 and 4 also, yes. Okay, 2 divided by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is 2 here. So what we left, okay, on top, we have left this 3 and k, right? So 3 times k over 2, which is our answer. So our teacher will give you three questions of the multiplications, another three question is the divisions right uh, so now we go to divide okay so for divide before we divide we see first okay so the first algebraic fraction can we do factorizations cannot the second one yes okay because x square minus one x square minus one we can change it into or factorize it into x plus one x minus one right okay so uh, so this one, I teacher will skip one step. So I directly change that. And this one from dy, I straight away go to change to multiply. So there will, this one go down, this one go up. So we change into this form. Okay. Uh, so hopefully every one of you can understand. Okay. So now after that, we can cut. Uh, okay. We divide. Okay. So after that, 3 and 4, any common factor? don't have right so that's the uh that's 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 the only thing that we can simplify so now no more then we just multiply okay so multiply three times one and this one's four times x minus one we can open the bracket or we can multiply okay we can do expansion so answer is three over four x minus four okay this is the first question of the divisions okay so Let's go for the next one. How about this? For the first part, and this one, any common factor? No, we just leave it like that. This one also don't have any common factor. What we can do is only we change the division into multiplications. Okay, so this one. Uh, so remember, uh, when change, go up, come down. Okay, and after that, can we simplify? Can we cut this and this? common error mistake that students always make you will go and cut it right no cannot okay remember always remember when you want to cut there must be involved of the multiplication means let's say you have this one uh, 1 minus 3 uh, x like this one so you can cut the m okay you can cut the m in this way okay then you can cut like this one but this one because involved of this is the minus you cannot cut like this okay so wrong eh? so this one you cannot cut anything cannot do anything with it so you just multiply when you cannot simplify you just multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator okay 
So it's 3, go to the next step, we just multiply m times 5, which is, which is what? 5m, right? Uh, so m times m minus 3 is right in the bracket. After that, you don't just expand. 5m over mn minus 3m. Okay, got it? So don't cut, uh, don't simply say, oh, teacher said one up, one down, one bottom, one top. I can cut when that is a light terms, okay, or that is a common factor. So be careful when involve more than one term, which is the not multiply or not divide. Uh, in between here, this is plus or minus, you cannot cut, okay, you cannot cut, okay. Unless they involve brackets, yes. Okay, come. Let's see the last questions. Okay, this is the last questions. Can you do any factorizations on the first fractions? No, right? The second one? Also no. Okay, so no, you just change the divide into multiply. Okay, so when you change this one, go up, this one come down, right? Ah, so after that, yes. Ah, this one we can cut. See? Can see the difference or not the sum between when you can cut and can, cannot cut. Actually, simplify. Actually, divide, right? A minus B over A minus B is equal to 1. Okay, not say after you cut, become, uh, become 0. Uh, no, uh, actually, still and divide and equal to 1, right? So now, 3 and 2, okay, 1. So no more, right? No more common factor, no more that, no more uh, terms that we can simplify anymore, right? So we just multiply numerator with the numerator, denominator with the denominator. Since the denominator is equal to 1, so our answer is 6. Okay, no need to write your answer 6 over 1. Okay, 6 over 1 means it's equal to 6. Is that okay? Okay, so hopefully these 6 questions that teacher give to you as a homework yesterday. Okay, last night I give you the questions, right? So by today, okay, you're done. Check your answers. Okay, if you cannot understand, you can uh, try to review the video that I shared with you all. Okay, if you still cannot understand, please PM teacher. Okay, okay, that's all for our class today. Hope that you all can understand. Uh, assess your uh, assess for your learning. Okay, if you feel that you understand, so give yourself a thumb. Okay, if cannot, okay, or so so. This one, if cannot, is come now, right? Uh, as usual, lah, our AFL. Okay, so anyway, see you all soon. Okay, um, I will continue my video for our next lesson. Okay, before I go back to school. Okay, see y'all. Bye-bye.